Okay, hi, good morning everyone, good morning. Welcome to, today is, welcome to Friday, November 5th. <laughs> I just finished doing makeup, so they told me I should remember the date. That's what I was doing yesterday, all right, tomorrow's stuff too, that's why, okay. So today is uh, November 5th, so let's go. We're very, very close to sports day, everybody. Sports day comes soon, it's, come, it's next Saturday from one o'clock, you guys. And I think it's full already too, I believe. But wow, how exciting. And yesterday too, I sent out the, all of the Christmas, Christmas holiday events at HK Chiba. There's so many, mountain and beach, plus the ALC. Wow, you guys, I know. I'll see you soon. All right, so here we go. This is Worksheets for Students for Friday, November 5th. We're going to start off with the same, we have, the same as what we have been for the past couple days. Here it is, ready? It's coming this way, here it comes. My name is, that's right. My name is, and then just write your name down here. It's number one, so it's the easiest of them all, but still difficult to sit and to trace inside the lines, to interact with the words, right? So we can do it together, but hand action's very important. My name is Greg. Okay, you guys, and here is number two. Do you remember those hand actions? My name is over here. My name is, that's right. We just have to try to draw our lines. This is my, so my is always number one. Name, where's name? My name is which one is name my name is that's right name name is number two number two and is is number three okay you guys my name is so now let's get into the next little part of our general phrases a little bit about the weather here it is it is sunny it is sunny that's right. It's a sunny day today. And that's right. It is sunny. I like sunny days. Do you like sunny days? Yes. I like sunny days. I like sunny days. One more time. I like sunny days. And Mr. Sun is helping out with the word sunny. Days, you're on your own, but sunny, it's mixed in here somewhere. Sunny days. Okay, you guys, that's number, that's number five. Here's number six. Number six. So here, you have to ask the question. Your friend writes the answer. Actually, your friend writes the answer. But all of you will have a chance to write your answer because we'll be switching around the papers. What is your name? My friend says, my name is, right? And do you like sunny days? My friend says, yes, I like sunny days. Okay, that's gonna be really fun. That's number six, so you know that's, that's Greg's group, that's also Hitomi's group today, right? Okay, let's go. And here's number seven, harder still actually. Now it's really time to put the head on you guys. So here, your friend is saying, I am 10 years old. Yes, I like sunny days. That's what your friend is saying. But what are you saying? What's your question? You have two different questions here, two. What is your name? I am 10 years old. No. How old are you? I am 10 years old. Ah, that's good. Tick. And don't forget to trace. What is your favorite fruit? Yes, I like sunny days. <laughs> what is your favorite fruit? Yes, I like sunny days. What is your name? Ah, oh, nice to meet you. See, it's all about the correct order of our general phrases so that it really makes sense. <laughs> yes, I like sunny days. Question, do you like sunny days? Yes, I like sunny days. So we have to figure out what the right questions are. 
And let's take it to the next level a little bit. This is number eight, even harder still. Here your friend is saying something, 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 because I can go for long walks at the beach. So you, why do you like sunny days? And which one, your friend says what? Which one is it? Look at this, find the correct one over here, and then on the back, rewrite it one more time. It's getting harder, yes it is. Uh, but number nine and 10, you'll be surprised. Number nine, 10 is just about making friends through, through participation. So here you are, there's a boy fishing. Wow, that is a nice fish. Can we go fishing together next time? New friend, accomplished. Wow, that is a nice kite. Can we fly it together next time? Wow, new friend, check. So let's get on to number 10. Wow, that is a nice soccer ball. Can we play together next time? New friend, check. Ta-da! Look, they're playing together, that's right. I love soccer because I can play with my new friends. General phrases are really, really fun. They're very important, but they can also be used to make new friends. So we're going to, in Greg's group, talk a little bit about making new friends through participation. Joining what they're doing the next time. Saying something nice, and then joining from the next time. Sports day is coming, so you know that's gonna have a little bit of a, play a role there too, you guys. Okay, so that's it. That's worksheets for students for Friday, November 5th. We're handing out all the Cambridge tests this week and next week, and everyone, amazing job. Scores are different, really depends on how many days you come to HKIS, how much you practice at home, how much you use the student page, how many events you come to, many things. But most important, everyone really tried their best. The scores really, really show that. So congratulations to all Cambridge test takers. The next test is coming up in March or April. So get ready. Okay, see you guys later. Bye everybody, bye. Bye, bye Greg. See you guys, bye.